Hello there and welcome to the channel. Today I thought I'd do a little bit of mushroom photography. I have been looking forward to this because I do like autumn and I know there are mushrooms around so I've come to my favourite little forest near me because there's always some brilliant subjects to be found there. It is a very warm day here in the UK today and it has been warm and dry, so I'm not entirely sure that I'm going to be able to find mushrooms, at least the kind of mushrooms that I like. The kind of mushrooms that I like are the tiny little ones that grow in amongst the moss on <coughs> bits of log that's fallen and those kinds of things. So let me show you what I mean by that. Uh, this kind of log you can see through the camera now, if we have a small mushroom growing up from that and we get that at the right angle, that makes really nice pictures, I think. Now this particular log does have some mushrooms growing on the side of it, but I have tried and I'm not sure I can find a composition on these. They're too clustered together. Right, after quite a bit of hunting, I'm not sure that this particular forest is quite ready for a lot of mushroom photography at the moment. It's been quite dry lately and mushrooms thrive more on the colder, slightly damp weather. That's very common here in the UK in the autumn, but not this year so far. However, I have stumbled upon a lovely little scene inside a tree trunk. So let me show you what I mean and let's see if we can make something out of this. So this is the in-camera view. So you see the lovely little cluster here and when we zoom in a bit on it, something like that then we start seeing there's all these little details in the mushrooms that I like. And we get quite close here as well, which is fabulous. Even though the mushrooms themselves are quite well hidden, once we discover them, it's, it's quite an intimate, lovely little scene. So let's see how this image turned out. Oh, I'm so happy right now because I found a purple mushroom. Around me, they're not very common. They might be common where you are, but around here we usually have sort of brown and cream and those kind of colors in the mushrooms. So this purple one is, is quite delightful. So let me go over to the camera and I'll take you through this composition and see if the image turn out any good. Right, so there's my mushroom at a bit of a distance. I am using a 100 to 400 lens for this shot. It's an experiment uh, to myself, really. Can I do it with 100 to 400? Because it's got some close-up capabilities, but perhaps for this particular mushroom, it would have been better if I had a macro lens. But it is what it is, and we have what we have. So if we zoom in on the mushroom, the one thing we notice about it is obviously there's some crap around it. So I'm going to go and I'm going to tidy that up a tiny little bit and then we'll see where we get to with the composition. So I noticed this one is in the way so we removed that and there's a little bit of other stuff uh, that we want to get rid of. Okay, great. Now that we've uh, tidied it up a little bit, let's see how the picture turned out. Mm -hmm. 
where the um, pepper mushrooms were, it was like, I don't know if I want to call it a dried up creek. It was more like a, an area, a path for any kind of surplus rainwater if we're having a heavy deluge or something to follow. And I've followed that and I've come across a couple of really lovely scenes that I'm going to try and photograph. This one I'm likely to want to focus stack a bit because the hat is quite broad but the bit of green on the side here is something I'm not keen on because it disturbs the image so I'm going to try and remove that and then hold down the grass that's in front of it here over it and hopefully that should tidy up the composition nicely and we can get on with taking the picture. We are mostly back to where we started here. I hope you have enjoyed the footage, I hope you've enjoyed the process that I've shown you, you need to clean up a little bit and tidy things uh, up around your subject and whatnot. But mushroom photography is a really fascinating one that I indulge in whenever I can in the autumns. So, if you like this video and you would like to see more content like this please click like and if you haven't done so already please subscribe it does help quite a bit on the youtube algorithm it tells other people that this video is worth watching so until next time thank you so much and i'll see you then take care now bye bye